How's it going, YouTube? I uh, normally won't do a video this late, but um, brother-in-law put this up on uh, Facebook, and it's uh, a good read by um, WND News, I'm guessing it is. I've never been to this website, so. Ted Nugent unloads. Gun owners, the next Rosa Parks. Rocker warns, we will sit down on the front seat of the bus. Published seven hours ago. By Michael Thompson. There will come a time when the gun owners of America, the law-abiding gun owners of America, will be the Rosa Parks. And we will sit down on the front seat of the bus. Case closed. Ted Nugent said that. So this is a response to Ted Nugent, rock legend and longtime defender of the Second Amendment, when asked what he would do should the government decide to go forward with any of the main, many firearms confiscation plans now being developed. In an exclusive interview with WND, Nugent, who said at the National Rifle Association Convention last year that if Barack Obama becomes the president in November, Again, I will be either I will either be dead or in jail by this time next year. Unloaded on the recent news that Obama is considering an ex executive order to deal with guns. Um, there's a little little section here about the Weekly Standard um, that tells you about what went on today, uh, what Biden happened to have to say today. I'm not going to read that because it's just trash. I'm not uh, don't take anything Biden says. Seriously, because they're all liars. Um, if it comes to the actual implementation of an actual confiscatory directive from our president, then I do believe that the heroes of the law enforcement will defy this order. I do believe that there are enough soulless sheep within our government who would act on such an illegal order but I believe the powers that be at the local, state, and regional law enforcement would halt such an illegal, anti-American order, said Nugent. Nugent continued, You are talking to a guy who talks to more gun owners in more heated and concerned conversations than anyone who lives. These are top-notch heroes of law enforcement and military who understand this experiment in self-government and will not let it, gun confiscation, happen. When we will do it peaceful. Let me take a little drink here. But there will come a time when the gun owners of America, the law-abiding gun owners of America, will be the Rosa Parks and we will sit down on the front seat of the bus. Case closed. Nugent has been a longtime champion and outspoken defender of the Constitution and Second Amendment. He told in NWD that, the, that media narrative after the Sandy Hook tragedy in Newton, Connecticut has been shameful, which it has. That's actually an understatement. The shock and dismay and heartbreak, then just a specific gun issue. But there is a subculture, dare I say subhuman culture, infesting our government and society that would zone in on hardware and inanimate, in, inanimate objects instead of people's conduct and the justice system failure, he said. He hammered the Obama administration for going after the constitutional right to bear arms, as he said. The media and government is hell-bent on convincing that water is dry and we should all reconsider our conclusions about the dampness of H2O. <laughs> These people are out of their cotton-picking minds and they scare Americans who are committed to logic, truth, and common sense. A real solution instead of the insanity that I witness from our government and media. If you are attempting to write an offensive script to a new Planet of the Apes movie, I couldn't come up with a dumber and more unbelievable insanity than our government and our media is perpetrating on the American public, Nugent said. Oh yeah, better bet. Old Uncle Ted talks. I right, listen. I'll link this. Uh, I'll link this story down below. Thanks for listening to me ramble.